Hi, Pastor Dave here with our Thursday night devotional. Have you been watching the stories of the fires out west? Some of them were dramatic, where you see fire on both sides of the road and people desperately driving down the road to get out of the fire. Some of them just woke up to fire and they had to get out and all they got out with was themselves and the clothes on their back. It reminds me of 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 10. It says, Paul's talking about this. He says, By the grace God has given me, I laid a foundation as a wise builder, and someone else is building on it. Paul started that church in Corinth, and he said, there's other leaders now working on it. But each one should build with care, for no one can lay any foundation other than the one already laid, which is Jesus Christ. If anyone builds on this foundation using gold, silver, costly stones, wood, hay, or straw, their work will be shown for what it is, because the day will bring it to light. It will be revealed with fire, and the, t and the fire will test the quality of each person's work. If what has been built survives, the builder will receive a reward. If it is burned up, the builder will suffer loss, but yet will be saved, even though only as one escaping through the flames. Paul's saying, be careful how you build. Be careful how you serve other people. Be careful how you serve God in this world. Do your best to build with valuable things. And for me, one of the main characteristics is, how does what I do affect real people? Uh, because the souls of those around you are the only things in this world that are immortal. They will live on into eternity. And the way you treat them will last. Now he's saying if, if people make the wrong choices and if they build things that are worthless, then the judgment is going to show in the end and it will all be burned up. But we're not saved by our works. So somebody could still be saved and yet they have no reward extra because of what they've done. So we want to do our best to live for Christ. As the old saying goes, only one life will soon be passed. Only what's done for Christ will last. Are you serving Christ with all your heart? When you stand before him, are you going to say, oh, I wish I had done more that was worthwhile in eternity? Let's keep our eyes on the eternal things. And right now, that means taking care of the people around us, especially those who are marginalized, especially those who may not be able to do anything good for you back because they are just in need right now. And when you give them a glass of water, when you hold their hand when they're suffering, when you pray for them, you are doing God's work. And that's the kind of work that will last to eternity. Let's pray. Father, I pray that you'd be with those who really need you right now. I lift up Robert. I lift up Marilyn Rose. Lord, I, I lift up others that have cancer like Deborah. I pray that her surgery was totally successful. We pray for Mark. We pray for Stephanie. We pray that you would be with each of these that have gone through difficult times. I especially lift up Iris right now. And I pray you'd be with Gracie and Yvette and Jeannie. Father, we know there's so many that we have listed. We pray for little Ava and we pray for Hayden. Father, there's many others that need your healing right now, need your direction, need your comfort in their grief. And Father, we pray that not only would you intercede, but that you would allow us to minister on your behalf, that there would be those things in our life that we have done in your name. For it's in your name that we pray. Amen. God bless you. And have a good night.